All right, guys, I'm out here flipping, flipping wood, and I just got my first bass today. Little one pound female. She was staged up on a on a brush pile out over that way, out over out over that way, behind behind the camera. I'm gonna let her go. Is this one not full of eggs either? Look at this slab crappy right here. That's like a, it's a monster. It's a mondo crappy right there. All right, I just got that big crappy to escape. Let's see if we can't get that same one or another big one. Using this Kitech, I'm using this uh, Kitech Easy Shiner right here in the electric shad color. Okay guys, I just caught another big crappie. This one's about the same size. Spawned out to big spawn out female, black crappie. I'm gonna get her uh, rigged up on a stringer and do a catch and cook for you guys. Okay, so that little blue back herring swim bed I was throwing earlier, just caught this guy on it. He's probably about a three pounder. Let me get the weight on him real quick. See where I put the scale. God, I'm an idiot. I'm a disorganized idiot right here. There it is. Big spawn female. Let's see what the scale says. Scales. All right, there's a train in the background. No one fucking cares. So, I just caught this three pound, three and a quarter right here on that swim bed I was throwing. Let's get a release on it. Here we are releasing this nice three and a quarter. Came up in the blue back swim bed. Big spawn female. There she goes. There she goes, guys. Let's get back to fishing. Okay, I got this, this whoa. I got this little, this little one pounder right here just now on uh, the jerk bait. Keeper number four. Let's see if I can get, can't get my limit fish now. So, my crappy busted my stringer off and I'm fucked for that catch and cook video. It's like I'm cursed. Mm. But there's this nice, nice brush pile out here. Not sure if you can see that. There's this nice brush pile out here. I'm gonna see if there's a snakehead on that. Uh. So I got lucky in the end. I found a bite. I got a small crappy, male, not a female. So that's good. Preserves all the genetics, everything. It's a little guy. He's only about 10 inches, but I can do a catch and cook, which means views. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you very much, sir. This man, yep, this man out here in the boat, right here, he put me on the bite. I got one, I can eat it. Nice little crappy on the popping cork rig. Got lucky. Lucas out. This here is gonna be the catch and cook that almost didn't happen. I had 
two different Krakens. I had them both bust off stringers or pull stringers out or something like that. And I was going home, nothing happened. I flipped for some snakehead, nothing. My father's going to be late to pick me up, and I can't call. And, you know, he offered to pick me up. It's not a usual thing. He's going to be late. And so I realized I have, like, another few minutes. And so, right as he texts me that he's here, I get this little crappy right here. It's only about 10 inches or so, but I'm going to clean it and cook it. So what I do, the way I clean it, is make a little incision back here. I make one on the next side. I hope y'all are getting this. My knife is dull, man. I need, I need, I need, I need to take it in to get sharpened. So then I make a little incision along the back. And I run the knife along the bone. And the goal here is to get as much meat as I can off the bone. And keep in mind that this knife is not very good and I'm probably not going to get it all or do a great job. But I could probably get some. And so as I start this one, I then flip it over and do the same to the other side. Because it's the first play is always easy to get, and the second play is hard to get, but if you do them both at the same time, I seem to get a little more meat that way. Just a little fish clean tip for those of y'all who, like me, don't have great hands and aren't great at cleaning them. Although a sharp knife really does help. This stuff's sharp, it's just not really sharp. And so I take the knife and go out the bottom of the crappy. This is the best part about me is I can do this with both hands. Just different parts are easier with different ones. Then I run along the rib cage, the knife. The goal here is to get as much meat as you can off the ribs without getting the ribs. Okay, guys, now that I got that off, I look in the guts. What I'm looking to see is. You see those two white thing? This this long white thing right here? That is um uh gonadal tissue, it's you know like pretty much fish balls. That white thing is pretty much fish testicles. Pretty, this is a male, not a spawned out female. So now what I do here is I take the head Get a Ziploc. Put the head in the Ziploc. And I'm going to use that head as catfish bait in some way. See, I didn't do a great job on the fillets, but I mean, I got as much as I could while still showing you guys how to do it. So now what I do is I sort of get my thumb down there. And I sort of run this right along the skin. Just like you did on the bone.
Okay, so I'm making this uh, crappy. What I do here is first. Whoa, got lucky there. Breaking egg. Then we take some flour and you dump it in. A teaspoon of baking powder. And dump the baking powder in. After you're done with that, this stuff is disgusting to drink, but it is great for cooking. Yinling. Yinling. It's like beer. Almost. I don't know about that much. I'm going to go a little light on it because I want to be able to eat this crappy without tasting too much of the yinling. And then you pour it in. Now you got the consistency down, what you do is you take your plate, take your crappy, dunk filet number one in, get it all covered in batter, find it, pull it out, dunk it right here. Now you take filet number two, dunk it in, swish it around, swish it around, try to get it to stick, actually find it through there somehow. As hard as it looks, it's possible. And yeah, dunk it down. You can get a little more batter for the to cover up any of the spots. What I do is I take some breadcrumbs. I know it looks like a lot. It isn't. Okay, so it's nice and you won't look sort of like this, maybe a little darker on the first side when you flip it. I'll probably flip these over on here. Yeah, this, this side's starting to flake, so, you know, give us a few minutes and I'll flip over the other side one last time just to make yours all the way cook through. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. Mm. All right. Crappies. Love crappies. Get to some of that right there this spring when they're spawning. But don't take any of the big females. Like you want them good crappy stocks. Lucas out.